Lake Kajaligo, which covers 33 square miles, is some 400 miles due west of Sydney. It is one of several large areas of water fed by the Lachlan River, the very existence of which is unknown to a great number of people. The town is small and typical of the centres on the fringe of the western districts of New South Wales. Also typically, it's a town that people make a visitor feel very welcome. It's a town serviced by rail, gravel surfaced roads and plain, the latter being by far the easiest form if distance is to be a consideration. Let's say anything over a couple of hundred miles or so, for distance is thought of in short terms in this plain country. The sign casually leaves a little unsaid, but who's to worry, for life here is delightfully casual by comparison to that of major centres. Life in this area is practical, for it's a farming community sitting on the border between the Riverina and Western districts. To the east, farms are an average size of about 3,000 acres. To the west, they are 30,000 acres or more, for rainfall there is a very variable factor. The people work hard and, when the occasion arises, play hard, particularly at the time of the annual Festival of the Lakes, held over the Australia Day long weekend. A festival with many varied facets, catering for the interests of both local people and visitors, one of which is a tagged fish competition. In this year's competition, six fish were tagged with small metal discs attached by gut. It is not as cruel as some may think, for the tags are sewn on in a position that will cause little distress to the fish and the gut dissolves within three days. The competition carries prizes up to £1,000. A petroleum company sponsors it but insures itself against the fish being caught. A reasonable risk for the insurers, for the fish are in an awful lot of water. Strictly supervised at all stages, the competition is finally prepared by a draw, which gives each tag number a relative prize. Whether or not the prizes will be drawn it remains a query until the following day. In the interim, however, there are other competitions underway, as there is no lag in the festival activities. Bowlers from near and far meet over the weekend for a friendly game and a chat or two over a glass or two. In country where dust is part and parcel of living, the greens are a relief to the eye, as well as a source of relaxation. Another source of relaxation, if one can call it that, is catered for at night. Here there are no midnight movies on the Sunday of the long weekend. A midnight to dawn dance takes its place. It's popular, for there is little sleeping done by the younger visitors of the festival. The oldest of the band is only 18 and the energies extend beyond merely playing. Legs and physical fitness are essential factors for another part of the festival activities. Professional athletes competing for prize money of up to £200. Training wins reward for this runner, whilst the training of these majorettes rewards the spectators with a display of precision marching. They travelled from Manly to take part in the festival. The procession is an essential element of these occasions, the thought and work behind it speaking for itself.
Meanwhile, back at the site of the tagged fishing competition, people have set up for a day's fishing that could bring rich reward. It's in there somewhere, Huckleberry. Others took to the water in their search, but despite all their efforts, there were six fish that swam away with memories of that day. But fishing is not the only sport involving water, and the people of the area make full use of the opportunities offered by the vast expanse of water, some more adventurous than others. Oh well, maybe next time. Speedboat racing is a major feature of both the festival and occasions throughout the year at the lake. A novel start being thrown in occasionally. There are some very powerful and valuable boats competing here. Some owned by local people, others being brought by visitors. One in fact coming from Bega on the south coast. Here, as in all sections of the festival, the standard is very high, with no lack of pace. With a full race program, the boat crews received little rest during the festival. But then again, the same could be said for all who came to the festival. The long weekend over, it was back to hard work. But there is much to be remembered after a visit to the Festival of the Lakes, when the people of Lake Kajarigo really turn it on. <laughs>